Good morning. Well, today is Tuesday the 30th of August, the day after bank holiday, and I've come to do another walk here in the West Pennine Moors. I was going to come here yesterday, but being bank holiday I thought, well, let's postpone it a day and hopefully today it'll be less busy with people. And if I'm lucky, during the course of my walk today, I might see another tower. My walk started as I took a footpath leading off Tockholes Road. Turning right on the edge of woodland, I followed a footpath directing me along the woods and water trail. My way descended steadily through Tockholes Plantation. I was heading in the direction of Higher Roddlesworth Reservoir, but I branched off before reaching it. However, I could briefly glimpse the reservoir through the trees as my path climbed up again. Soon I could see open fields to my left, where I emerged back on Tockholes Road. Crossing over, I took a walled track that forms part of the Witten Weaver's Way. Now I said at the start of this walk that I might get to see another tower today. Well, I do have a sneaky suspicion that I might be looking at one now. I headed east as I continued along the Witten Weaver's Way, and was getting some great views of the West Pennine Moors all around me. The path soon descended steeply with a section of old paving. At the bottom I reached Ernsdale Reservoir. Ernsdale Reservoir was constructed in 1854 to supply water to the town of Darwin. Now sheltered by trees, it provides a haven for waterfowl in the winter. I slowly crossed the dam, admiring the reservoir and the beautiful scenery surrounding it.
Beyond the dam, I followed the lane as far as a house, where I turned right up a concrete track. I was beginning to get views over Darwin at this point. Before long, I was climbing a stony track onto Darwin Moor. As I climbed, the views were becoming more impressive, so I stopped to take in my surroundings. By this time, I had a good clear view of Darwin, dominated by the India Mill chimney. India Mill dates from the 1860s, the chimney is 302 feet high, and its style is Italianate rather than Indian, as the name suggests. The mill closed in 1991, but now houses new light industry and office space. I continued up the main track, and as the gradient eased, I passed a marker stone on which there's a likeness of what I was just approaching. Well, here I am finally at the Jubilee Tower. I walked up to the octagonal Jubilee Tower on the top of Darwin Hill, which is 1,220 feet above sea level. Generally known as Darwin Tower, it was completed in 1898 to commemorate Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee, and also to celebrate the victory of the local people for the right to access Darwin Moor. The tower is 85 feet high, and was opened to the public on the 24th of September, 1898. And the bonus with the Jubilee Tower is that you can actually go up inside it any day of the year, as it is always open. Visitors can climb to the top of the tower via the internal staircase to admire the views of North Yorkshire, Morecambe Bay, Blackpool Tower, Cumbria, the Isle of Man, North Wales, Derbyshire, elsewhere in Lancashire and surrounding moorland. Admission to the tower is free of charge. I entered the tower and began to climb the stone spiral staircase. Very soon I came to the circular viewing platform on the way up. I walked all around it to admire the views.
I continued up the stone spiral staircase, which was followed by a smaller iron staircase leading to the very top. Wind speeds can be very high at the top of the tower, and in November 2010, the tower dome was blown off. A replacement dome, which was made by the WEC Group of Darwin at a cost of over £35,000, was winched into place by helicopter in January 2012. There is often mist below, which will obscure the surrounding views. However, my views today were clear and wonderful. Well, that was wonderful, but now it's time for me to go back down. I discovered this walk to Jubilee Tower during my research for the last two walks I did on the West Pennine Moors, but one or two people have also mentioned this walk to me as well. Now with that in mind, I'd like to say hello to Frank and Lee from Preston, and I hope you're having a really nice bank holiday week. It had been absolutely wonderful exploring the Jubilee Tower, but sadly it was time to move on, so I took a path heading southwest across Darwin Moor. Just dropping into step back clough now. So from there, I'll take a track that goes through the woods and that takes me back onto the lane by the car park at the visitor center where I started my walk this morning.
By the end of the afternoon, I was back on Tockold Road where I started. Here I decided to relax and enjoy a quick half inside the Royal Arms, a wonderful little inn with plenty of character. I'm back where I started this morning and that has been another great walk here on the West Pennine Moors. Visiting Jubilee Tower has been wonderful and in particular it's been an absolute joy being able to go inside it. That to me has been the highlight of today's walk.